All right, guys, we're doing Elton John today. Recover Your Soul, a live version. Let's do the intro for it. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube. And the rest of the lessons for this song, as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've done over the past eight years, are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. works on all mobile devices, and I have something on there for everyone, whether you're a complete beginner, intermediate, advanced, whether you like ragtime, classical, jazz, blues, rock and roll, uh, you name it, I have it on there. And a little advice, if you are a complete beginner, Go to my blog, which is seancheekblog.com, and click on the right-hand side. There's a link that says how to be your own piano teacher on webpianoteacher.com. It'll give you a practice plan and an approach. Instead of looking at, at that huge list of thousands of videos and not knowing what to do, it just gives you a way to get started. <clears throat> if you want to check out what I'm doing, uh, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. You'll find my, my fans page and uh, a lot of good updates on there. Anyway, let's get started. We're in the key of G here, and we're going to start with our right hand on B, D, G, B with 1, 2, 4, 5, and then D, B, D, G, B. So it's the same notes that's in the chord right here. So you play the chord and keep your hand there, and then one more D at the end. So you're just holding that chord, bum, ba, da, 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 bum, is the rhythm. Bum, ba, da, 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 now we're going to be vamping in our left hand, and this is very important in uh, anything you play that's Elton John or many others. Uh, we're going to have a G octave. I have one G written there, but play a G octave, and we're going to vamp with a D in the middle on our two finger. If you're not used to vamping, just play the G octave and let that be enough. Don't even worry about vamping. But vamping just means you keep on playing this underneath, you know. It doesn't matter either which note you do, just as long as you end up on time on the next measure. But and you typically will play the left hand notes uh, on the downbeat and also wherever there's a dash. If there's a, a held note in the right hand, you usually will play the left hand in that gap. Okay? So now the next measure. So we're going to have that same chord again, B, D, G, B, D, B, and then A, D, F sharp, A with one, two, four, five. Hold that for a bit. Now just play the bottom three notes of that chord, A, D, F sharp. Okay, ba, 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 ba. Okay, if you can't keep up with me on here with just fine, hit the pause button. That's what's so great about a video lesson, a recorded video lesson. You can hit the pause button. Say, wait a minute, let me take a, a couple of days to get this down before I try the next part. Left hand is doing G. And then we're going to go to F sharp on this one. Okay? Uh, so G, D, G for left hand there. On this one, we'll just do the F sharp. Don't worry about a note in the middle. Just the F sharp octave. And we have. Bum, 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 bum. Let's do it again for this measure. Okay, let's time together. This one and this one. Ready and go. Notice how I hit this chord first in the left hand F sharp. That's because this is syncopated and it, it jumps the gun a little bit on the beat. Okay, again from here I'll go super slow. Ready and go. Now we're going to go to E minor. So that's going to be B, E, G on the right hand. I'm going to use 1, 3, 5. And then I'm going to play the E again and then the B, ba, ba, ba. And then I'm going to play a G octave three times. Those of you who are able, let's put an E in between. Okay, so we have... So G, then put an E there, G, put an E there. Oh, so you'll have... Okay. You really only need to put it in those two places the E. Alright, left hand's on E, B, E. Vamping on that, so we have a bum, 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 bum. So 
the left hand there is going to stay on E, B, E for the E minor. Then the right hand will have A, B, and then we're going to play G and D with 1 and 5. So if I did just the right hand from here to here, I have... And I put the left hand with it very simply first, just the block chords. Now I'll vamp with my left hand. Vamping is something that is actually easier when you're going up to tempo. It makes it more difficult to slow it down. So if you're having trouble vamping and you're going slow, that's expected, okay? So uh, wait till you can kind of speed it up a little bit and then that rhythm will flow better through you. Now let's try this whole little part. This is not the whole intro. There's more intro to go, but I, I'm giving you this part right here uh, for free. So let's go right here. Ready, go. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy that. I'll see you on the website, webpianoteacher.com, and I'll talk to you later.